which is it's dominating my thinking at the moment. So that's my biggest stressor yep. at the moment. Before I started making this series, I hadn't really thought about why uh, it was that sleep mattered to me so much. It's actually a relationship. If you're not feeling good, you're not sharing time with your loved ones because you're just knackered. It's one of the basics, yeah. If, if you're not yeah. getting that fundamental in, like everything else cascades from it. Yeah. Chronic insomniac Priyanka is also doing well, continuing to shift her body clock earlier by getting bright light in the mornings. It's about seven in the morning and I feel pretty good. This morning, waking up wasn't that difficult. I, on the other hand, have been shifting my clock later, getting bright light in the evening. Hi there, Priyanka. And wearing dark glasses in the morning. Hi, welcome. <laughs> How are you? Hello, we have the opposite problem. Yes, I've yes. I've got the dark glasses on and uh, I'm impressed to see you um, up and so alert. So it's been a big change by the sounds of things. I am much better. Waking up is not as hard, for going to bed is not as hard and throughout the day I have a bit more energy. So you pretty much, you know, cured. They haven't officially said that, but yeah. for me, this is uh, this is problem solved. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One problem ticked off your list. So I'm not there yet, but it's very encouraging to hear that. We think of it as a psychological problem, mm. whereas that wasn't the case for me. It was a physiological problem. It's not just, you know, it's all in your head. It's not. Yeah. yeah it's A lot of it is in the body. Our body clock or circadian rhythm is delicate and can easily become mistimed from disturbances like illness, hormonal changes, travel and shift work. Or, for some, the natural biological clock they were born with simply doesn't fit with the modern industrial world. Cheers, yeah. Cheers. yeah Thanks yeah, to light therapy, yeah, Priyanka and I have been able to reset our circadian clocks, allowing us to sleep when it suits us. After eight weeks of intensive treatment, our world-first sleep trial is almost over. The participants and I are returning to the lab for final testing. Hello. 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 A moment our volunteers are going to be wired up and then extensively retested. Hi there. Hi, Michael. Sleep well. Thank you. This really is the gold standard when it comes to evaluating whether all the hard work they've done has paid off. Sleep well. Thank you, good night. Remember, when they first came here, they all suffered from significant sleep problems. Have the Flinders team succeeded where others have failed? Treatment for Helen, one of our most difficult cases, is going down to the wire. Neither the positional device nor